All right, it says it's in the mail, so let's go check the mail. All right, let's see. Yeah, it is. We got the dragon breath. We're gonna be able to shoot green flames out of my exhaust with the dragon breath. If you don't know him, Jenzilla on Instagram, he's been shooting green flames for a year or two now, I think. And he's been testing this product and everyone's been going crazy about it. And I had to pre-order it and I finally got it. And uh, let me show you guys what's in the box. All right, so we got the applier tool right here. It's like a little rubber knife looking thing. And then we also have the dragon breath paste that it was gonna make the green flames. This thing is a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little line of tape around the lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off real quick. I guess that just helps. Go ahead and take that off. God, Jesus. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Okay, as you can see, we got the paste right there. Uh, I believe he said we're supposed to add like a couple drops of water to it and then kind of stir it up to make sure uh, all the buildup at the bottom gets mixed thoroughly kind of muddy water texture uh so i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick one two three four all right we'll do four i'm gonna stay in my bathroom because i do not want to make a mess this is gonna take a minute <laughs> we were finally able to get it to that muddy water consistency um i did probably lose a good amount of paste just because I was just, it, it just got really messy. But uh, he was working on getting uh, in like, like a toothpaste kind of bottle, kind of like this. Uh, so that way you don't have to worry about making a mess. Okay, honest opinion so far, this is a literal pain in the ass. Um, it works though. I, I, I was able to get it down to the paste consistency, but uh, it just took me a minute because it was really hard. I ended up using the bottom of this. It worked better for me because this is real flimsy, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep the box on me for now to keep those two together because one, I know I'm going to lose this. Two, I don't want to just throw it in my car, have it all dirty. Um, so yeah, I can keep it in the box, keep them together for now, but we're going to wait till it gets a little bit darker because it's very bright outside and I'm going to meet up with my friend Kevin. He has a G35 who shoots flames as well and we will try the green flames and hopefully get some good flames. All right, guys, we met up with Kevin. This is G35 right over there. And we got our friend Chris. Wanted to tag along. <laughs> oh, my friend Kim's filming. Thank you for Kim for filming. And I'm just gonna kinda dip a little bit. Kevin brought some water. So uh, I'm gonna stir it up here just a little bit, kinda get in that little pasty texture. And we're just gonna take it on the inside of the exhaust. Just kind of line it around. All right, Kevin's doing his right now. He's just kind of lining it. He's doing it a different way than I did. He's kind of like doing it like rounded and then I guess touching up from there. By the way, Kevin has the NVIDIA Gemini exhaust with uh, Burke test pipes and the Admin Tune. I have the Tome exhaust with the Megan Racing Y pipe and Manzo test pipes. I've got a custom shitbox exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> she has a 350Z. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and warm up my car real quick. Same with Kevin. Just let it idle for a little bit. Ugh. But we had to move locations because uh, there's a bunch of cars passing by the road and we didn't want to disturb anyone. So we found a more secluded area. And uh, so we have both of our paces supplied. Let's, let's get it. Okay, so it seems like it's not really working well. I don't know if we put too much or too less or if we didn't put it in the right area, if we were supposed to put it deeper down. My buddy Timothy, uh, the guy who helped me too, my car actually just spontaneously pulled up. So uh, I'm gonna let him rev the car so I can kind of see how this works. Cause maybe it needs to be broken in more, maybe it needs to warm up a little more. Yeah, dude, dude, I already dude. used oh half God, of this. Why would you do that to a oh. it, it comes off with water, don't worry. Okay, so this is what we're gonna work with now. <laughs> Okay, he tried the same thing as I did. Let's see if let's see if it works. Okay, okay.
right, guys, that's gonna be the review of the green flames. I guess it just took a little bit for it to like actually kick in and warm up, but um, my car did fucking, oh my God. Kevin's car, um, he didn't rev as much as I did, so he might still need a little more heating up for his uh, stuff to actually kick in. Okay, let me explain this a little more. So see how mine is completely like burnt? It looks like rust. It's not rust. Um, that's how it's supposed to look for the full effect. That's why mine was actually working a lot better. This is what his looks like. It still has that green paste looking color. If he kept revving it more, then it would have got that burnt color look and would have started doing the full effect. Uh, so that's what I mean by the sweet spot. You just gotta let it break in. As I mentioned earlier, Jenzilla on Instagram, he's the owner of the Dragon Breath Company. Uh, he's working on making other colors as well. I think he's releasing red next, and I think he's going to be making like purple, white, yellow, some other cool colors that we can make our flames change to. Huge shout out to him. He made a really cool product. I really like it. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to go ahead and get yourself a bottle of the uh, green flamethrower paste. Uh, I believe it's $45. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like down below so we can get recommended. Thank you guys for the support lately. It's been awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.